What's going on everybody, Sam Burr here and welcome back to Elsamore. Now in today's episode, we're going to make a new highway, but this is going to be a bit of a challenging one because um, we're going to extend right up this valley way up, up through the top of the screen there and it's very hilly, it's mountainous, there's a lot of, no, you, you, you guys will see, there's a lot to deal with and it's going to be a really different highway compared to what we've done before. Now if, you, if we zoom out here you can see the original highway goes all the way up there and I want to divert majority of that traffic away straight through the middle there. Basically, it will kind of kill, <laughs> it'll kind of kill like the businesses that rely on the traffic going past on the highway. But um, since the city, Bersheva, is still going to expand, uh, we need to reduce the traffic as much as possible. So creating this new highway will hopefully reduce the traffic throughout Bersheva because we don't have much room to expand the highway in Bersheva anyway. So that's what we're doing. This is going to be a three part video, maybe two or three. So this, this part is going to be the new highway, which is what we're starting on now. And then the next video will probably be the connection of this highway with the existing highway. And then the one after that, we might also do a bit of a highway leading into the port area and develop the port. So probably won't see any traffic on this highway in this video just because I don't connect it. Like I said, it'll be in the next video. But this part right here, I'm actually quite quite excited to see it because I haven't done anything like this before. It's a spiral road and I just remember seeing this picture of this huge mega spiral road in China where it slowly spirals up and up and up and it's surrounded by like big mountainous areas pretty much like this. And you'll notice I zoom out a lot because I go back to the the water level and I check and I want to see like does it fit in with the area does the elevation look too high does it stand out too much so but I think it actually fits in very well I do change the the terrain just a little bit just to hide it a little bit more but really the terrain doesn't get changed too much and I wanted to leave the existing dirt road there because first of all it creates a bit of depth for this whole area so I like to just show that we have the old historical road because there's still going to be some cars that might want to use that older road for whatever reason. It's already there so we might as well just leave it and just build straight over the top of it. In this video I don't add any connections to this road uh, between the highway at the other end and where we are now. We're just putting it straight through and because there really isn't anything beyond this mountain area besides there's a big lake and I do want to put in a big city well not a big city but at least a town somewhere over the other side of this mountain the the terrain but yeah we I don't do any connections in this video I think the real struggle with this one is just making sure that the the heights and the slopes are all okay like I don't want them to be really steep because I know in real life when you when we have roads or well, main roads that are going down steep hills they'll often have like slip lanes for trucks in case their brakes fail but we don't actually do this and I was thinking should I have some kind of higher railing because it is quite high like if, if a car comes off or a truck or whatever vehicle comes off the side of these highways like they're pretty much going to die straight away so I was wondering if there's any mod that allows me to put in some type of higher fence that's automatically attached to this side of these elevated roads I'm not sure but if there is please let me know because I might put it in like I said I just um bringing the terrain up a little bit just to hide it a little bit more because it is quite elevated I don't want it to look silly and I want it to really look like it's just like nicely wedged in between the mountains there um, we come up here I have to bring it right up higher again but um, this part up here to the left is pretty much the only part where it will actually be attached to the ground all of the rest of it, it's going to be elevated. So this is the only spot where we can do some easy connections that aren't going to be super elevated. Now, when we get over here a little bit, this part here, this is where it starts to get very, very high. And I think my inspiration for this, I just have this image of like 
a, a really high road like this in Italy or somewhere in Europe where it's extremely high. Now, this one isn't very high, but once we go past this one, once we get past, I'll do another little tunnel connection, but once we get beyond that, it's very, very high and I've never done anything so high before and that's why I'm really excited and looking forward to just seeing all of the traffic using this new road and also um, the existing highway that we have now which goes all the way around through the capital Beersheba. I still leave that road there um, but it kind of becomes like a... it's not the main highway so the main highway will come from off the side of the map and connect to this new highway but I'll still do easy connections for them to go off onto the existing highway which will go into Beersheba but I wanted the main highway to be this one so it bypasses the city they can get through the whole area a lot quicker I know it's only four lanes on, on either side but I think that's enough So for this part here, we didn't actually need to do this, but I thought why not just add in some type of uh, terrain barrier, pretty much. Um, it's probably, um, I mean, I was looking for a darker color because it is quite bright, but now that I look at it, it doesn't really stand out too much. I think it fits in with the, the whole area as well. And um, I also put one level below the elevated areas, if that makes sense. So you can see I push it right down and it just makes it look a bit nicer. All right, so now we are doing the extremely high one, which makes me nervous because like if I was driving across that and we had very low railings on the side of the road, I'd be like, oh, I hope we don't fall off. So that's why I was talking about the, the barriers. Like if, can we put barriers on the side? I'm not sure, but yeah, it is very, very high. Um, but um, it actually looks really good. I know it looks super artificial to do it like this, but um, it just glides straight across like imagine if I did a road that follows the actual terrain oh my god it would take them so much longer to get through here so by doing this one they can really glide straight through I was thinking should I make it a toll road to kind of justify the the price of the whole expansion but I mean the tolls in the game they don't really make much money have you guys noticed like they're kind of pointless they really don't make much at all they make like $200 a month which is weird because there's a lot of traffic going through there so but but I don't know. Who knows? I, I wish the I wish we could actually increase the toll prices, and actually get them to work properly. But that's fine. Doesn't really matter. Uh, th this road up here, I probably won't add any connection to up there because it is quite high, um, and we're not going to build anything up this high. It's pretty remote, like I said. They're just going to glide straight through here, pretty much just uninterrupted, and they can really just zoom across and get in and out of the map really easily. Over here is going to be where we make the new connection that uh, connects up with the old highway. So I've flattened it all out and I've changed the road type because the the highway road that I was using, it's good until you make connections on it and then it starts to get really buggy and weird. So I changed it to this other road here just because it keeps the median in the middle of the road and it doesn't make it disappear and um, it just works very well. I use this road a lot. So I'm not going to do a huge fancy highway connection over here. Um, I just wanted to do just basic slip lanes and you'll notice the road, I've kind of made it just stop right there. Um, that's because I'm not going to actually show where this road goes. It's going to just go into a tunnel and then beyond that is just the edge of the map. So it's not really an area that we need to look at and it's not an area that we will look at very often. So yeah, just going to do it straight into a tunnel and that is it. One thing I did forget to do at the end of this video, um, is just to like align the lanes so you know how when you go into the 
uh, TMPE mod where you can connect the lanes. I forget to do that, so you might notice some cars going across the median or going where they're not supposed to just because I forgot to do that but I will make sure I fix that all up off camera so don't worry about that. I have to say, honestly, I'm not too concerned with how this area looks because it is quite far out on the edge of the map, so it's not an area that we will see a lot, like I was saying about the tunnel as well. As long as it functions well, because I don't want to have to keep coming over here and checking it to make sure that there's no traffic. So as long as it's all running well, of course, once we connect up the highway in the next video, we'll come back and make sure that there's no issues, but other than that, we probably won't come back here very often so like I said not too concerned with if it's really pretty or not. Okay, so now we're just finishing up. Um, this is the part where it goes into the tunnel. So you can see the original highway at the top of the screen there. Um, but the, the difference between this highway at the bottom and the highway at the top, the height is very different. So we're going to hide that within this tunnel through here. And yeah, we don't really need to see it anyway. And it, it just looks a lot nicer by doing it like this. Um, traffic can sometimes be... For some reason when they spawn at the edge of the map, sometimes there can be a lot and they can congest up, so if they want to do that in the tunnel that's fine because we won't really see it, but I think it actually looks really good just like that and it's all at the same height so they really should just glide straight in and then whatever happens in the tunnel, that's up to them. What happens in the tunnel stays in the tunnel and I tried to justify the tunnel by making it all look really steep, um, but yeah, it looks really good. And we're probably going to wrap up the video here. Uh, at this point, I probably was thinking I was going to do the lane connections, but I ended up just doing the road line connections and completely forgot about all the other connections, but that's okay. Um, I'll go fix that up off camera, but even without the connections, I'm sure most of it will work fine anyway, so I'm not too concerned, but I still, still I'll adjust it all. But I'm really looking forward to doing the next episode because the highway, it it's actually going to be a four-way highway. So we'll have the existing highway going from left to right, and then we'll have this highway, which will come from the top entering into the highway. And then we'll also need to make it so there's uh, entrance and exits from the bottom, which will go into the port area. So it's going to be quite a decent um, intersection. And it's probably gonna take me a little while to get it all working good because we are quite restrained with space in that area but I could delete some of the what is it that's some kind of resource thing over there that I put down I could delete some of the the buildings to make a bit more room we'll just have to see how it go but one thing we'll have to do is make sure that the lanes are big enough because it is going to be truck traffic a lot throughout the the new area so we have to make sure that there's a lot of space enough merging lanes enough um, distances between all the entrance and exits so I'm looking forward to it but it is going to be a challenge but yeah let's wrap up the video um, like I said we don't connect the highway so we won't see any cars on the newer area going through here yet it's just going to be empty for now in the next video we'll connect it all up everything will look good we'll get a closer look at everything and fix up any other little issues but anyway let's leave it there um, if you have any suggestions, please let me know and I'll catch you guys in the next video.